we're in Jerusalem. It is the time of the Passover and there are all kinds of pilgrims making their way through Jerusalem, but they seize Simon of Cyrene. I wonder why did they single him out? I wonder why did they profile him? I wonder why was he pulled out of the crowd? There were a whole lot of other pilgrims there, but they singled out Simon of Cyrene. What, what was routine for others was risky for him. This brother was just minding his own business, walking while black. profiled, pulled up, and forced to carry a cross that he didn't choose. Forced to carry a cross that he did not earn, but it was his to endure. Now hasn't that been our story? No wonder our ancestors used to sing, were you there when they crucified my Lord? They used to sing about crucifixion because they knew what crucifixion was all about. They said, sometimes it causes me to tremble. It causes me to tremble, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Billie Holiday used to sing about it. She used to sing about the strange fruit that southern trees bear. There's some crosses you have to carry and it's not your fault. Sometimes we get caught up in the crossfire of the powers that be. We ended last week, the 10 year anniversary of the war in Iraq. It was an illegal war. It was an unnecessary war. It was an immoral war. And yet there are those who had to go and fight. There were Iraqi citizens, some civilians who lost their lives. But do you remember? It's been 10 long years. But, but as they talked about the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians who were killed, there were those in our political leadership who had a name for them. They called them collateral damage. they are those who were caught up in the crossfires of powers and principalities. Didn't earn the cross, wasn't on any mission, just going about their own business and caught up in the crossfire. I watch with great interest as our Congress debates the need for better laws to govern firearms in our country, a country where there are more firearms than there are people. And while Congress plays games, our children and our people are literally caught up in the crossfire, collateral damage. Hadiah Pendleton was her name. Precious young girl who had just participated in the president's inauguration doing the right thing, doing what she was supposed to do, and trying to find some shelter from some rain, got caught up in the crossfire. I don't know what kind of cross you're carrying tonight. Maybe you feel like somebody just pulled you out and singled you out. And what ought to be routine, what is routine for some is risky for us. I don't know why, why they singled out Simon of Cyrene. Why did they ask him, boy, give us your ID. Show us your birth certificate. What was routine for others was risky for him. And we don't hear anything else from Simon, nowhere else in the Gospels. And I can't help but wonder what became of this other man. 
who had to bear and carry a different kind of cross. Nowhere else does he show up in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. He doesn't show up in Acts. Paul doesn't mention him. He shows up, helps Jesus carry the cross, and then he disappears in the horizon. And I cry out above and across the centuries, Simon, where are you? But then again, I believe I saw him. I saw him packed on slave ships. One named Jesus. I believe I saw Simon of Cyrene forced to carry somebody else's load. I saw him in the faces of black women who were forced to be mammies and, net and, and wet nurses and take care of somebody else's children. I believe I, I saw Simon as he was profiled and picked up and forced to carry somebody else's load. I, I believe I saw Simon who with dignity and with grace and with spiritual power carried the cross that he was forced to bear and injected new meaning into the narrative of salvation. 